Hey guys, it's Ali here, and today I decided to do a review. So the game for today is Kirby's Air Ride for the Nintendo GameCube. Okay, time for some Kirby's Air Ride. So put him in here, and then power. Now where's my controller? GameCube controller, where are you? Oh yeah. Ah, that nostalgic sound. So as most of us Kirby fans know, this Kirby game is completely different from the rest. Kirby games are supposed to be platformers, but this GameCube gem is not. Kirby Air Ride is a racing game, an underrated racing game. You know Mario Kart Double Dash, F-Zero, if you own a GameCube, or at least know a friend who has one, you probably know what those games are. But what you probably don't know about is this game. This game quickly got overshadowed by those two great games. But does it make this game bad? No, definitely not. The 2003 release of this racing er, of this game marked the first Kirby racing game, and only racing game. And it's really fun. Like most racing games, the most fun comes out of its multiplayer, but this game can be counted as an exception. This game has three unique game modes, each of which are incredibly fun even if you have no friends to play with. Air Ride, Top Ride, and City Trial. Air Ride is the basic mode in which you race up against three other computer players, or friends, just like how you would in other racing games. It's fun, but can get boring if you play it for too long. Top Ride is a slower version of Air Ride, but it's slowed down for its own good. It shows a top-down perspective, and it's basically a fun little obstacle race. The computer players can become really difficult if you choose to crank up their difficulty bar up, and that helps with their replayability. Finally, there's City Trial. In this mode, you're able to free roam through the city filled with contraptions and power-ups against the computer players or friends. What I like about the gameplay style of this game is how the more races and trials you partake in, the more stuff you unlock. You unlock new vehicles, I guess they're vehicles, different colors for Kirby, and new characters to choose from. Let's go Meta Knight! What I don't like from the gameplay is that to a certain degree this game can become a tiny bit repetitive. That is debatable though. This game actually looks pretty damn good. It's colorful, 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 and colorful. All I'm trying to say here is that it's pretty freaking colorful. That's no surprise in a Kirby game. The character models look far from blocky and the settings look even better. Just take a candor at HAL Laboratory's fine work. I do have one petty little issue though. The backgrounds in the city trial mode, in my personal opinion, my personal opinion, are a bit on the bland side. The graphics in that mode are just too simple for my tastes. Oh god, don't get me started on this game's awfully perfect soundtrack. I love every single song in this game. All of them tunes. All of them. I'm no liar, you see. Just listen for yourself. If you like Kirby game music, you're gonna dig this soundtrack. Just trust me, if I were to make a list of the top 5 GameCube soundtracks, this game would surely be on it. To be honest, I literally have no problems with the music in this game. As for the controls, this game's controls are super simple for a racing game. For me, they're just too simple. The controls are not as engaging as, for example, Mario Kart Double Dash. In this game, to accelerate, you don't do anything. You heard me right. Not one button shall be pressed for acceleration. Your vehicle accelerates by itself, but you get to move your vehicle of choice with the control stick. Okay, so when you're at a corner and need to drift, just hold down the A button, R or L button to slow down and go through corners easily. Let go of any of the buttons for a short boost, and that's basically the solution to going through curves and shit like that. The control scheme of this game is stupidly easy, but there's nothing actually wrong with it. It's meant for beginners. I ran into few problems when I played the game for the first time, mainly because I was used to the Mario Kart controls, but I caught on quickly. Also, while racing, you can suck up enemies and take their abilities and use them while you continue to race for short amounts of time by pressing the A button near an enemy to inhale it. This is a cool little addition, but I wish that the developers could have put in more copy abilities in the game. Even though it seems kind of weird putting in copy abilities in a racing game, what would a Kirby game be without them? Except for the unique DS game, Kirby Mass Attack. I'll talk about that game in a later review. Maybe. Probably. Okay, so from what I've said in this review, if I would have to give a rating of this game, 
I would rate this game a 7 out of 10. So yeah, that's my review on Kirby's Air Ride for the Nintendo GameCube. If you like this review, please leave a like, and if you dislike this review, please feel free to dislike. And if you want to see more reviews like this and videos in the future, please subscribe to my channel and Tid Gaming and wherever I upload this on. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and until next time.